readings in amphioxus. So as as now you all know the general structure of the animal body, so you can point out what systems lies where and uh, you can easily understand this this uh, part of the uh, subject. So feeding in amphioxus is uh, as we know that these are the sediment feeders or the filter feeder animals and they live in in the aquatic environment. So they must have a mechanism to engulf in the water with their suspended particles and then filter it out as a food material and then relieving the water from outside of the body. So we know that the animal's body start with a, an oral hood, right, which you can in, in general terms can say as their mouth. So the, this is this part is the total oral hood. So the oral hood has a few different parts. There's the tentacles here. So these tentacles are basically projection of their skin and they are specialized in chemoreception. So they can sense the composition of the water entering into the mouth. Also, they have some specialized wheel organs which uh, function as a sensory as well as the mucus producing organs. So which is the first site of trapping the food material. From uh, from there comes the pharyngeal cavity or the pharyngeal basket, right? So we know that this is a pharyngeal basket, right? So this pharyngeal cavity is then uh, connected with the intestine, right? And intestine is then uh, then have a blind finger-like projection of the cecum, that is a hepatic cecum, and then it is followed by the long intestine, and uh, at the end there is an anus from where the undigested food moves out. So the mechanism of water movement is by the production of a water current uh, or the water current by which the water can enter into the mouth and move along the whole digestive system. And those water currents are produced by number one, these tentacles, they move and shake the water. Then there are cilia inside the buccal cavity and on each of these gill bars. Right? So the gill bars are all ciliated the small cilia on the gill bars that basically uh, create a water current and water is sucked into the mouth. Food materials, once, once reach in the pharyngeal cavity, there is the endostyle lying beneath the uh, pharyngeal cavity that releases the mucus that covers the whole, whole surface of this uh, pharyngeal basket, attaches to the food material and then passes the whole collected food towards the intestine. Mm -hmm. And from the intestine, it goes into the blind cecum or the hepatic cecum. In the hepatic cecum, digestion happens by the release of digestive enzymes. Right? In the hepatic cecum, digestion happens. And the undigested food moves along the intestine and leaves the body through the anus. Right, so that was the one route, and the excess water, which is continuously cycling through the animal body, passes through these slits, comes into this cavity, and which cavity is known as atrium, and is released from the body through the uh, hole or opening that is called atriopore.